Everyone, it's Bixan here, and this is a surprise. This is a massive surprise here that just got uh, dropped on my Discord server here. Thank you for that, by the way. I had never heard of this coming out at any point. Has it been leaked? Has it, was there uh, rumors? Beats me here, but we've got a brand new Metalocalypse property. Uh... A movie uh, that Middle Apocalypse and actually let me say this in my in the best Nathan explosion I can. <clears throat> Middle Apocalypse, Army of Darkness. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, it's actually also pretty big coincidence actually because I have for the last few months been listening to some of the old uh, Metalocalypse soundtracks here and even watching some of the old clips of the show. Oh, God, it, I gotta say, it's it's something weird when uh, you see Nathan Explosion, like, be so, de like, despondent over the fact that, yeah, Toki spend their vacation funds and now they can't go to their massive trip a worldwide trip to the, the Disney parks here, like like Disneyland and Euro Disney and Asia Disney. I don't know something about the way Murray smiles when he explains that was a complicated, multifaceted trip with their big-eared pal Mickey. <laughs> it those guys are just relatable. Those guys are just funny, and a lot of the shows still hold up there, and it still blows my mind because. This is a Warner Brothers property, and they just well, okay. To be fair, to be this isn't this is far from the first time they name drop Disney in a Warner Brothers property. That said, uh, when that episode aired on Adult Swim, was Metalocalypse owned by Warner Brothers? Okay, so yeah, but it's it's impressive. A lot of the episodes are still fun. You still love these guys, but I I don't know. In this day and age of extreme political correctness. It's a classic case of what they did then would not pass today. It's like, there's a whole, like, they have, remember the episode where they were processing Charles, their manager's death? Toki, of course, being the, the little brother of the group here, the baby, the most innocent one here, was taking it hard, and Pickles, such a being... Uh, okay... <laughs> What do you think? Uh, yeah, you know what? Both, yeah, Pickles and Nathan are basically, the, are basically the dads of the band. And Pickles saying you can't show emotion because showing emotion for a guy's death makes you gay. That was an actual thing here where they said in the show. And nowadays, I don't see that going by. I don't see that being a thing here, so I gotta wonder what the dynamic's gonna be here. I mean, will they really... Uh, adapt them to 2023 standards, or will they be the exact same they were back in the early 2000s? I, obviously, you know which one I'm cheering here. If I want Death Clock, I want the band, I want Nathan, Pickles, Switzgard, Toki, and Murderface, I want it to be just how they were. Just how they were here. And complain about modern days and stuff like that. I want the running joke of, you know, because Murder Faith is the base is a bass player here. It's like it's not really taking that seriously. Oh boy. Okay, let's take a look here. Fear, Nathan. It engulfed you. Okay, Nathan. By your nightmarish memories. Ooh. Yeah, you've been through a lot, guys. Still, oh yeah. Oh, Nathan. Yes. The the middle apocalypse. Oh. Hi. <laughs> what? He's shaking. Charles, what are you? Isolasia. Okay. Oh, wow, the budget. Find the song of salvation. The song of salvation. Yes. Song of salvation. Nobody knows. The fans. We at least know the running time. Look, nobody knows. 
Nobody knows. The police knows what keys it ends in. Oh wow. If we do it wrong. What happens if you do it one? We'll be baked in blood. Do ever will be baked in blood? That's. We'll be a house. Oh. That is good. We'll be dead. That's pretty fucking brutal. Oh my God. A whale talking to Nathan. Sure. The fist of the hand. Army of Doom Star. Oh, oh, what's it? Oh, there we are. Someone had to die. I mean, we had to see someone. It would it would make no sense if none of their uh, employees die. We didn't see one of their employees die. And <laughs> the Wilhelm scream, but you can certainly tell the they had a they definitely got much bigger budget here. It's like how long were they working on this exactly? I mean, when was the script written? Uh, was this always uh, was this always what the creator wanted here? Because they, I remember because yeah, there was a thing where they hinted now the metalocalypse will happen, and you know the whole first episode where these guys will bring about the end of the world and stuff like that. It's weird seeing Charles in a robe. The Doom Star, like Charles knows about this, and just seeing Nathan, he's trying to be cool, but his hand is shaking, and the coffee and everything. Hi. Hi. What? What? Um, hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that's Nathan right there. Uh, and everyone, and they got the original actors as well here. Like, all the guys here, Schwitzgard, sound like Schwitzgard. Pickles, and every, Pickles the drummer. Yeah. Okay, obviously we see, oh, uh, Charles here. We, I don't know, do we? Let me play this place again here. We got the band. Uh, was that the, the original... Well, the original guitarist they had, I got his name. No, I don't think, maybe. No, I don't think so. Because, you know, Toki was actually the newest member. I mean, he's the, Def Clock is his first band. They had another guy. Was that the, okay. Okay. Yeah, we see like the uh, council members here. I think that's a general. That's the guy with the beard. The uh, obviously clergy guy. He died in the show. Saying with final words, saying the middle lockups will happen. So these guys gotta find the right song to save the world. They have and they have to get it right. Otherwise, yeah, like some of these angles and shots here. Like we see prickles here in the back is I just trying to get, to get, get trying to get a beat going with his drum with that drumstick and drumstick yeah the animation is much better we got the uh death clock uh, fans there this this uh, obviously camera sh shot is incredible we Yeah, damn. Oh, wait, was that? That, that was Dr. Roxo, wasn't it? Cocaine, of course. Yeah, we got Dr. Roxo's back. I don't get it. We got Dr. Roxo here, but what about the other? Uh, the, like, the, the guy, the guy with the um, cybernetic eyes who... The engine, the chief engineer, I guess, and heck, at this point, I'll take the chef. <laughs> Looks fun. I'm definitely gonna have to binge watch all of Metalocalypse just to refresh myself. Uh, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this here and. More music. Give, give me more Death Clock music. Death Metal. Death Metal all the way, baby. That was lame.
That was silly. That was silly of me, but I couldn't help myself. So, yeah. Everyone, thank you for watching. Tell me, what, what do you think about this here? Were you a fan of Metalocalypse? I remember uh, showing this one guy here the episode with um, that clothes designer that uses the special leather. And he was like, oh, oh. Yeah, so this Death Clock is not for everyone. Metalocalypse is just, it's in a, you gotta be either born with the taste or you slowly acquire it. I had the taste from the get go. It was just so awesome. And the music was, and the music is just fucking brutal. So yeah, tell me down below, as always. And until next one, this is Maxon, logging out.